All right, guys, thanks for tuning to iCup TV. We'll be your epic and awesome fun caster, Fitz, here. And you guys are tuning to iCup Clan League Week Number 3, Division B2, between uh, Disturb... Oh, not Disturb, I'm sorry. Uh, div, uh, between uh, Upro Multi... Upro Legends uh, Multi-Pro, Multi-Team, I think, Multi-Game multi uh, Team. Uh, and walk... So it, the series is game number three. It's series number series number one, game number three of this, of, of this matchup between the clan of the clans or teams, what have you. And it's been 1-1 one, one so far, and both teams are about the same in, in statistics-wise of their overall stats. Um, both both the, uh, players are, are both teams, rather, or clans, are actually very, very equal to each other. Not 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 to say that each player might be different, but the, the, the general, like, over, overall, like, stats and, like, ranking of the teams are very, very similar to each other. But, uh, one thing you need to know, Walkland's in the north side, and, uh, on the south side, it will be, uh, Upro. Now, again, you can tell by the overlay, uh, because I can actually change the colors now with the players. But, uh, you know, spawning in the top left will be Walks, it will be Walks Gangst as the Red Zerg is spawning in the top right as the Yellow Terran. It will be Walks Moxy, and who has been notoriously going bio for the last two games. And then spawning in the bottom right, it will be U Pro's. Uh, as if you, if you, if you, the Green Protoss, U Pro's uh, Vincent or Incent. I think I've been calling him Vincent lately. I, just, I don't actually know what I say. And spawning in the bottom left, it will be the Orange Zerg. U uh, Pro's uh, Zito. Now Zito is uh, Zito has been opening with you know the same standard stuff. You know, going to super fast lair and going to spire. He's done it both games. Uh, Yanks has been going. Has done two different builds. Done the, the you know the super fast and the lair spire, but it hasn't worked. And went for kind of a lot of ling a lot of ling heavy stuff, which ultimately won the game because they uh, you know. Ter I mean, Terran ultimately went for like a stem bio push with plus one in range, or not plus one, a uh, stem range, I believe, on some of medics, and just pretty much went bio, three rex bio, and, you know, d does a lot of damage, and I think it's a very, I think that's what Terran should do in 2v2 is what I've seen with just the success rate versus like going Goliath versus Muto and stuff, uh, in mech in general, but in, that t in, Z in ZT versus, ZT versus uh, ZP. Which is Zerg Terran versus uh, Zerg Protoss. Because what happens in this matchup is Zergs kind of do their own little, uh, their own little CBZ in their own right. And, well, both other players kind of tech up to whatever they want. Now, Moxie was more extreme on game number one where he was able to tech up to, like, like science also by, like, 10 minutes in the game. Which was kind of ridiculous stuff for one base, but was able to do it nonetheless. Um, not so extreme last game where he went mainly just bio. Uh, and the other Protoss has been, you know, pro and then not to leave uh, Vincent out, or Vincent. Vincent is probably going to put down a Forge right about now. And what he's been doing is the logical reasoning uh, in 2v2, in my opinion, is to that... Where what they do is, what he does is he puts like four cannons on his front door, four cannons at his, at his uh, ally's front door, which makes sense, you know, on a map like... Uh, circuit breaker, uh, or electric circuit, excuse me, because the map is so huge, uh, and, you know, I mean, even if you're on the south side, I mean, look at the rush, I mean, look at the distance, I mean, you have to go literally, I believe if we actually look at the, sorry for clicking dragon, but if you actually look at the, right here, if you go up, if you go outside your natural, up around, up and like around, and that is the distance, back in the field. So, I mean, it, it makes, it makes sense to actually go put that there, but the problem is, I mean, what, what happened in game one, was they, they, uh, in Vincent was actually able to do but that's actually a lot of late like, actually happening right here. And I but Yanks will be okay and uh, but there is a lot of uh, pressure coming out of Zito. Apparently Zito GG's, but uh, ultimately isn't gonna be able to uh, end that right now. And interesting enough, they might have been able to do some uh, economic damage by killing off a lot of those uh, drones, but probably probably what they don't want to have happen is the Terran to all of a sudden come out with like a whole bunch of bio and just wreck them apart. But, uh, like I was saying, though, what, uh, Vincent had problems with the last two game or last game, rather, game number two, is that he put down way too many cans to get his tech up. Versus game one, where he had, you know, a decent amount of four, four cans per base, which was fine. Which, I, you know, in a way where you're not going to be in the same base with each other, I mean, it just helps defend. Now, I feel bad for Yanks here, because both games, I've never really seen his playstyle as near as much. I don't really have a defined playstyle for him as much in his 2v2, at least in this matchup. What happens is, a lot of the time that, uh, 
you know, Zito will go go his fast Vito, which is what he's doing right now, and that he just auto all of a sudden just attacks Yanks, which is you know not bad. But Yanks will put up like three or four spore colonies, and he still goes in there and kills off all the drones. I mean, Yanks doesn't drone up at all. I mean, like we're seeing, I mean, I mean a lot of drones coming out of, out of uh, out of Zito here. I mean, like four or five drones. I mean, uh, comp comp theoretically speaking, I mean he's going mass ling, but I mean. He can't really do anything against these uh, five zealots right here. Now that is a lot of bio, though, and you know things are not looking are not looking terrible for Walk Clan. I feel like they're in a better scenario. I feel like as long as they get the center map control, they'll be okay. The one thing they need to be worried about is these fast meter coming out, especially since he's getting on macro hatch down. Especially since he's been getting a little greedy with the amount of drones he's getting, in my opinion. But he had this is what I like to see. I like to see greedy, I, at least in for Zerg's aspect. But oh, why is he not microing? But he's actually doing a lot of damage. He's be okay with those five reps doing, I think, like, 24 damage, no, 16 damage. I think it's 24 if they have plus three, but... Ooh, actually, Yanks, I mean, uh, take it back, uh, Zito's actually gonna be getting, uh, just uh, going, poking inside, uh, Terran's base here, but not gonna be doing too much. There's a bunker there, and actually getting range is about done, but he might be able to intercept these if he stims. Oh, actually, nice, actually, nice, uh, AI block here, uh, from coming out of Yanks right there. And Nix doesn't have the worst, uh, Ling Micro, I would, I would, I, I, I have to say, but, um, Pretty much all I want to say right here, but here we go. Here come the Muta. He's gonna go attack this base. He has one. He doesn't have a spore colony, so Yanks is dead. Uh, and that's gonna, uh, you know, now I think Walkland's actually at a disadvantage here because Protoss is very well defended here. That can should be up by the time that Muta goes in. But here we go. He's definitely stim. It will be enough though, and I'm not quite sure. But at the same time, here we go. We're gonna be seeing. <laughs> here we go. Got the entire municipal line of Yanks being completely decimated. By Zito, I uh, will finally be transferring the drones up this one time after game number three I mean. But um, somehow, actually, he's taking a lot of damage from these zealots. He's not going to be able to do a lot of damage here, but we'll be killing off that pylon. So the walk, in a way, is kind of, you know, I feel like have like, you know, changed out what their ability is here. We've seen, we're seeing, a, we're going to see a lot of Muta coming out of Zito right here, which could be, could be a little disaster because the bio army can get picked off from Muta reinforcements uh, because. Uh, stem Marines aren't the best. Ooh, uh, actually, I think there's a Ling Run by here. But pretty much, um, Incent is out of this game. <laughs> His next is gone. Uh, to be, he could produce two Gateways or two more camps. You cannot produce a Nexus, and in Brood War, you cannot, uh, give off, uh, reinforcements. Ooh, but it's gonna be able to nice scouting. And Yanks has yet to actually mine. He has no drones. He can't produce drones. But he's not producing any. And this is a really awkward t uh, 2v2. Because both players really have... Now it's turned into uh, Terran versus Zerg. <laughs> uh, but Terran versus Zerg going... But now Zerg is actually droning and getting mass muta. And actually that's actually... It's actually actually turning what a CVZ actually looks like. But, you know, getting plus one. I would be surprised for Factory to come up shortly. Where is the Factory? He should be getting up a factory. If it ended up being a TBC, he should he should know how to do 1v1 in this. Ooh, but he's gonna be uh we're gonna be seeing Zito actually taking an expand here, and I it's interesting why he go with that, and I'm just gonna there, there was something that was bothering me before. Um I just want to slowly lower this down. But okay, but he's gonna be stimming on these marine ships. Oh, why is he using those why is he using those to bring those over there? Why aren't you drilling them over there? Ugh. Oh my goodness, here we go, here's Xiaomi stimming. Meds are done though. And one view has been picked off though, which it's just, it, that is just a nice victory in general. Maybe I killed off the whole flock. I don't know what's with the consistent pinging right there. Uh, he wants them to push him over here so he can drone up, as these Muta are a consistent threat, but only if you realize that he could probably just take off this base right here. But, uh, and we'll be killing off reinforcements, I guess, over here. And uh, not being actually super careful right here. He's going to be uh, pushing out his bio army, which, I mean, what, literally speaking, Incent can't come back. Like, he, he can't produce an Nexus. He he can't produce anything. So, and you can't give off minerals. So, and I love the Jittering Marine right there. Oh, I guess it's gone now. But uh, the Jittering Marine was pretty cool. But nevertheless, uh, that is going to be a lot of bio. And it's going to have to come down to positioning. It's, it's all about positioning versus bio. And it's going to depend, depend on Tech right here. Tech's going to want to expand here. But um, because there isn't a lot of ground army for Zerg, it's actually looking going to be a little hard. Because he's getting Hydra... Oh, he's actually getting Lurker. That's what he's going to be going. Because he has uh, Lair Attack. But 
keep in mind, I mean, it's off of one base, and going very gas-heavy units off of one base doesn't really work. I mean, that's why a lot of times you see a 12 hatch in front of the TVZ. Uh, it's just the logical thing. Nice and even micro... Um, nice lag. <laughs> Zito is BM. Um, uh, I, th I think he was. I feel like... I, I, actually, he might have GG'd one game. I'm not sure, but uh, no lie here. Um, ooh, but he did scout this, and he's going to be bringing over a link there. One link is actually doing a lot of damage. But he should be... Ooh, but we would get these drone kills, actually. Yeah, but here come the meter, though. Uh, so much for that. Yanks is slowly making the way back in here. He's been able to drone up very a lot, actually. And uh, this is... He actually has more drone saturation than he's ever had in any of these games. And I'm not even joking about that statement. Like, he has more drones than he's ever had before. <laughs> Um, even putting down seconds right here. So, Terra needs to take an expand. That's the, that's what he needs to be doing. Uh, but it looks like he might be going... There's only two Sunkins here. So, not going to be enough to break through this right here. And here we go. Will it be enough? Midar going to be coming up right here. He's going to be sitting in here without the medic support. We'll be sitting back right here. And I don't, I don't want to yell too much because it's like midnight around my house. But, um... Uh, it's going to be hard. Once, once I... Once, uh... Okay, this is time to go in. This is time to go in. This is time to go in. But he's gonna be—he's gonna be thinking that he can go in here, but there's gonna be a nice, uh, a good moment. But there might just be too many here right here. This is the time where he should go and engage right here. You can end the game right here. But um, here we go. He's gonna be skimming in here. There isn't the third something down there. He's gonna be skimming. So he should be able to kill off that that natural right there. These drones are gonna be evacuating as fast as possible right here. That's what he needs to be doing. He cannot lose um, all this stuff. He should be reinforcing that with more uh, Marines right here. He's going to up his hatchery at the same time right here. And nice little victory, definitely for Walk Clan. Uh, for Walk's for walk 2v2 Clan. And going to be able to kill this off. He should, he should just go back there. He should help out his point right here. He's going to always throw right here. He needs to go back or he needs to attack. He needs to do one or the other. But there's going to be too many cans here. He just, um, if we even see incense, actually putting in two more cans. And oh, why isn't he helping? He needs to reinforce the um, Ally here so he's just got the short on to every single game. And oh my goodness. This is why I don't play Zerg, man. This is the reason whenever I do 2v2s, which I've never actually done a 2v2 on ladder before because I can never find a partner partner to go with and I'm D and if people are like playing 2v2s, I don't know. Um, I'll, 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 Oh, but there's some significant uh, BM right there. I can't, I can't white it out for you guys, but uh, you guys can see it right here. And nice speed of micro, but he's just, it's just too many Marines right here. And I think I, I, it's just getting to the point where, you know, Terran's off of two base now. Wall Clan, I mean, he's, I mean, holy, oh man, does, can, Yanks not even produce anything anymore? Oh man, this is not looking actually, yeah, I don't think, oh, I think he lost all the drones. Yanks can't produce anymore. So sad. And is he, were, you even, were you even seeing take another expansion? I don't get why he doesn't take it here. Like, honestly speaking, why doesn't he just take it there? Like, you can sunk it in there, like, super easily. Like, even just extend the creep, like, here. Like, Bio can't push through that. I don't get that, but Lurker and Mita are going to be coming here, which means the counter to Marine here. Uh, uh, Push is coming right here. And here we go. Push is coming out. He's going to be sitting away. Nice sitting away, but, uh, not in time for those four lurkers to do a significant amount of damage here. He will be in the bunker here. He will be scanning right here. And uh, we'll be trying to find the bunker here. We'll go down. He does have a tank here for that reason. And uh, get just, it's, that bunker's going to stay alive just in time be, uh, to allow those lurkers to die from the tank. And I don't even know why. Oh, okay. Zito has just left the game. <laughs> and Vincent has left, left the game as well. Uh, and I just they just saw that it was a two-base Terran. And a two-base Terran will be a, uh, a one-base there. That's just got there their natural uh, at, uh, or their third at, their, their second base at 13 minutes in the game. So, what can we learn from this? Um, I think for 2v2 players, um, I, again, I can, I can't, I, I'm not a professional, I, I mean, I'm not an in-depth analyzer on 2v2, but what, I mean, 2v2, I mean, the most common thing I've seen, um, of these 2v2s, I've consistently seen, um, Terran Zerg versus Protoss Zerg. And a lot of the time, Terran, the t Terran versus Zerg will often win when they go bio. Uh, if you guys don't know about 1v1 in general, uh, you can do a timing push with, with Terran against Protoss. It's hard to maneuver because you have to micro very well. But you can stim and get medics and you can get uh, U-238 shells and do a timing push where Protoss is very susceptible. Um, and not only that, but you, that timing push is also valid for Zerg. 
Um, not only because not only Terran is it's not only it can break through the front door of a Zerg, but it can also break down uh, Utilisk. So that timing push is actually valid for both scenarios in 1v1. So you're taking that into fact, and then you're adding your own opponent to it. You you have a perfect build for both for both that for that matchup. So I mean, in that regards, I mean Terran is like the perfect. That's the perfect opening, in my opinion. Now, there's counters to it. I mean, Zerg can always go layer, uh, fast layer into Lurker Tech. would be awkward and probably wouldn't work out too well. But if, if to hard counter what Terran's doing, and uh, Protoss goes for some kind of weird scenario. I mean, this is just generic what I've seen. Now, again, this might not be valid for all cases. It may not be valid at all, but I'm just sharing my input to you guys. And um, it's so hard to tell like what went wrong this game. I mean, obviously speaking, I mean, Incent died. Uh, I mean, that's just, that's what happened right there. And then Ganks died, <laughs> and then we had a TBZ, uh, that was an awkward TBZ. It was Mass Media versus Mass Marine. Who's going to win? Mass Marine. Uh, Mass Ryan's going to win all the time. Anything. Mass Ryan beats everything. Except for, like, five, th no, three, five Ultralisks. And there's, like, 200 versus 200 Supply Bursts. Like, that's the only time Mass Ryan doesn't really work, in my opinion, but, uh, that's why I go a lot of uh, Marine and versus Siege Saints and Vultures and Storm. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of counters to, to, to Marine, but early game Marines are really, really good. And you know that's the reason why they're uh, there um, for early game pressure. And I mean we just saw it very, very well played by both players. You can't complain by either player. So very well played by Walk Clan. So that means they did win series number one. Um, I'm trying to think back of one I've casted. I, you guys have to do. You have to do the math. I, I'm just casting the games because I, I mean, I, the actual like statistics are seven on week seven now, and I'm week three, so I'm a little far behind. Guys, thanks for watching. I Cup TV. And have a nice day, guys. Peace.